Hello everyone, this is Wistful Deal here, and today there's something I feel that I want to talk about, and it's something that I feel that I kind of need to address, and keep in mind that this is my opinion and my bare opinion alone, and that topic today is about religion. Now, if you're personally a person that is religious, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. You know, if you find God in a religious state in the sense of um, Mormon or Catholic or whatever, then hey, that's perfectly fine by me. I don't have a problem with that. However, I do see an issue when it comes to people who force their religion onto others and make it so that the only thing that is true or the only thing that can be true is of what they see which is not the case and I feel like I need to make this video here to address that so I'm not bashing anyone that's religious I'm not calling hate on anyone that's religious I'm just stating my own personal view of how I feel and see on religion so, now of the way, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, hey mom. Oh, okay. So, I feel like the, so I feel like anyway, so I feel like the main issue I see when it comes to religion is that a lot of it can be like boxed in a lot of the times. And I personally feel like that, um, a lot of the times is that it's genuinely closed-minded a lot of the times and I can personally understand on why some people who are religious and I am completely you know fair with them on every level and I don't have a problem with people, again, I know I'm going to repeat myself a million times, but I don't have a problem with people who are religious. I don't have a problem if you believe in God a certain way, but I do have a problem when it comes to people who force others onto religion. And what I mean by force is that to make it so that, well, you have to believe in a specific way of God to, um, to like, be good or whatnot. And this is an issue I've always have kind of had a lot of the times personally in my life because I'm sure we all know the whole understanding of maybe a little bit about um, what the Bible means in Christianity as well as heaven and hell. You know, if you're a bad, if you're a good spirit and everything and you do good and whatnot, then you go to heaven. However, if you're a bad spirit and you've, you've been naughty your life or whatever, then you'll go to hell, right? You'll burn in them. <laughs> but I feel like there's, there's kind of a divine issue here because when it comes to like a certain point of view of things or a certain ideology of things, a very specific view, it brings a lot of con and some red flags up to me. Like, for instance, so, I've come up in my head a story that, so, if a soldier, you know, in the U.S., he, you know, he fights for his country, you know, he does his, you know, deeds and everything, and then he dies, he'll probably go to heaven because he believed in God, you know, he was a Christian, you know, a Christian fighter, a Christian U.S. soldier and whatnot, and then he dies, and he'll for sure go to heaven, but what about the other countries that believe in their own specific way of things, you know, that is also in the term of something good or pure or holy or whatnot, and then they also die. Would they go to heaven as well, or a different heaven? Like a Chinese man, or a Korean person, you know, or whatever. It could be British, whatever. And they believe in their own specific way of how they see of what is good, you know, and not in everything, and they believe in their own way of God and everything, and then if he or she dies, you know, also fighting for their country, you know, would he or she go to heaven as well? Would it be the same heaven, or would it be a different heaven based on their 
point of views of how they imagine heaven to be like for them, or were they just still rot in hell because they couldn't believe in the specific, um, the specific belief or ideology of God, and I feel like that's an issue though because how would because first off how would that one that other person know exactly that he needed to believe in a spe not just something good but a specific good in order to you know go to heaven or a specific good of heaven and this is the issue that I find myself seeing when I look deep into this uh, stuff because if you're not if you're supposed to know that you need a specific term of specifically something good then how would that person specifically know you need that one specific thing in order to purely be pure and how it can't just be something good no it has to be a specific good a specific ideology theme to well you can then go to heaven or not and I feel like that's an issue there and I personally the way I see it is that it's not a matter of what religion or view that you have, it's a matter of what you do, what actions you'll take. It's a matter of what choices you'll make. I think to put it simply is that to simply be good or to, if you really wanted to, you know, be good or follow God or whatever, or, you know what I mean, go to heaven or be a good spirit or whatever, I think what you really need to do or what we really need to do is that we just really need to simply do good things. Just do good actions as a whole. You don't have to go to church, although that's perfectly fine if you personally do. I don't have a problem with that. But I feel like um, you don't need to go to church. You know, you don't need to read the Bible. You don't have to pray, and you don't have to be baptized. I feel like a lot of these things are just... <clears throat> certain ideologies of the idea that you need specific things that you need to like you know go to church every Sunday to be can be in connect with God or the divine or universe or whatever you want to call it because the way I personally see it is that all you really need to do is do good things and plus my understanding of God or the universe comes from rather an understanding of God or the universe. Because you see, I personally understand on what religion is and why people, a lot of people, a lot of the times, like to stick to religion. You know, some people even see it as a necessary desperate way to um, get into a specific way that they feel like it's as a must because they can't trust any other place. Some it may be on that they like the group though or something and that it's very nice and friendly and that's perfectly fine and it's perfectly fine to give your beliefs if and if they're religion it's fine to give them their beliefs and religions it's fine to it's fine for you to give other people your idea of God and religion and stuff but I feel like there's an issue, there's a draw when it comes to forcing others onto religion. Because I'm going to tell you right here, right now, you do not need God or Jesus to... I mean, you don't need them really to be a good person. I mean, if you see it that way, then that's, you know, good for you. But I don't think it's really a necessary thing. You know, you don't have to be baptized. You don't have to read the Bible. All you really need to do is just do simply good things and actions. Because that's what really kind of matters. I mean, you can believe and be connected to God or the divine all you want. But if you're not making good actions, you know, if you're being a mean, cruel person that's cruel-hearted. You know, if you're completely heartless and completely careless, but you still believe in God. I feel like that's a complete error right then and there because as a matter of fact I don't think God or the universe should really care about what specific view you have on him it's rather on just the actions that you take you know are you gonna make the action to do something good are you gonna be helpful and that's whether it's big or small whether it's saving a life through medical surgery from someone who got injured in a war or something 
or it could be just as simply as smiling to them, you know, being happy and just simply being nice and kind. And I feel like that as a whole is something, something that's just very simple that, um, that I believe that, um, that I see that um, we can all do. And now how we don't necessarily need to read the Bible or get baptized or go to church or to follow a certain group or a certain ideology of the great unknown, whether that's God or your higher self or an angel or whatever it may be, right? It could be anything at this point, whether you see it in a, you know, in the way of Mexicans or British or Russian or Chinese, you know, whatever ideology of, you know, something there that we can't physically see or sense with our senses, but we know it's something good and that whatever it is, it just works as long as we, you know, follow along by doing something good, whether it's energetic energy of whatever it may be or whatever it may not be, you know, I feel like that's the basic simple terms of it, <clears throat> excuse me, and to prove that you don't necessarily need to have a spiritual connection with something in order to do something good, I personally have a, I have a brother who was, um, religious, not religious, who was, um, a little spiritual in his time. But eventually he moved to scientific, and I mean very scientific. Like he's extremely scientific, and he's completely non-religious or spirited at all. And you could say that he, sure, he may not be following God specifically or anything, but you know what? He's still doing good, and he's still doing okay and decent because he's still making the actions to be nice and kind. You know, he, he walks he walks around his town that he lives in and sometimes he'll give, you know, someone some food that he has, he'll pay for someone else's lunch along with his own lunch if he's at a restaurant or whatever. And people everywhere love him and, you know, eventually do care about him because he's nice and kind and he's generous. Generous and he's very nice and polite to the folks around him. I think that way right they can prove to you guys that, um, that's, if you, and I feel like that's proof right there that you don't need to believe in a specific way to do specifically good deeds. You just need to do good deeds as a whole, regardless whatever views you may have. Now, of course, of course the mind is important when you have your point of views of things. I personally... You know, we all have our own, we all have our own inner demon, our own inner shadow of things. We all have our own dark side of things. But if we push that aside and we just simply do good deeds, regardless if we're reading the Bible, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but like regardless if we're, you know, reading the Bible or doing this or that or going to church God doesn't really necessarily need for you to believe in him. That's just something some of your folks may need. And it's not in a matter of what specific view you have. It's just in a matter of what actions you, well, it does on some level matter of what view you may have. But it's not on such a tight and boxed in way that religion may push you into believing. Because the way I see it, relig how religion, at least to me, how it works a lot is that it's like, there's like only one specific way to get to the specific um, island, right? It's like there's an island, like let's say heaven or the great divine, whatever you want to call it, you know, the good place where all the spirits go, the good spirits go and everything's pure and everything's full of love and everything, you know, heaven per se. Let's just say that's an island, okay? Like, it's heaven, uh, heaven's an island. And you have many different routes to take. But religion forces you into believing that there's, like, one specific way of doing it. You know, it's like, it's like as if religion, Christianity, is to say, you can only get to God by the boat. 
you know, you can only use a boat, whatever boat that may specifically be. It can be a jet stream, you know, it can be a rail boat where you push yourself on over to it. It could be a, a um, those big fancy boats, a yachtsy, a yaki, whatever it's called, those big fancy ones and everything. And it's like they say there's one specific way you can get to that island. And the only way to do it is to get on a boat, whether it's you by yourself or your friends or your family or whatever. just has to be a boat to get on there. When in actual reality, there's more than one specific way of getting on there. You know, you don't have to use a boat. You know, you can swim there to the island if you wanted to. You can fly there if you wanted to. You can fly there and drop down and open up a parachute, you know, if you wanted to. You can teleport yourself there. You can, you know, walk on water. You can, like, walk on water over there if you wanted to. You can take the bridge over to the island and drive over there or something, you know. You can take the train and make your way on over to the island, you know. It's like there's, there's like, a couple different routes to this island here, but religion... And least the idea to me is that they only give you, like, this one specific idea only. And if you dare take on any different path or route to the island, that, you know, you're like a sinner and everything. And you're not doing, you're not going the true way of the path. When in reality, all the paths are true. It's just a matter of what your vision is and what path you specifically choose. Because, let's face it. Is it really going to matter what path or is it really going to matter how you get to the island or where you get to the island from based on what transportation you get there from? You know, is God really going to care so much about that if you're, a, if, if you're a good and kind person in general on the train or while you were driving there, you were nice and kind and friendly, you had a good conversation? Or if you're swimming there, you're staying motivated and positive. Or if you were, you know, like, you know, on a boat cruising or whatever. Or just flying there with your jet or whatever and parachuting there and you're just all happy and stuff. Is it really going to necessarily matter what path you take? Or is it just going to matter based on how you feel and what actions you chose while doing that path? Because I can guarantee you... That if, if I give you five people that each took the five different paths that were all more or less happy but still positive and still, you know, grateful or whatnot, you know, and still just, you know, keeping a good attitude or just being calm, you know, and doing fine, doing okay, doing happy, I guarantee you that they would all make it to the heaven island at some point or another because in actual reality religion gives you the idea that there's only one path to follow and that one path is that specific path and you cannot choose any other path when in actual reality there's more than one path to take and so what I'm trying to get here in this video here is that it's not in a matter of it's not in a matter of the way you believe it or how you believe in something. It's just in a matter of what choices and actions you take as well as the thoughts you put in your head. You know, it's not in a matter of what specifics you need to do. It's, it's in a matter of what specifics you need to do in the sense of your actions, in the sense of how you respond to others, how you respond to the universe or to God, how you respond to your family or friends. How do you respond to people around you? How do you respond to yourself inside your head? You know, and I feel like that ideology is what comes to be when it comes to being free-spirited. Because for me personally, I'm not religious and I don't have a problem with people who are, reli are religious. I'm not bashing anyone that's, all, that's religious because it's perfectly fine to be religious. But there is a certain issue when it comes to people who force, of, 
who force their religion onto others for the simple sake because of how you see things in a certain way and how your view is the only truth and only path and that there can't be any other path. When in actual reality, there's more than others. And when you force that onto others, it really, it really isn't nice or pleasant. In fact, if God, if God, if they say that, you know, God gave us free will, then surely can it be the same thing for our ideologies and religions? I mean, if God gave us, I feel like personally, if God gave us free will, then he gave us free will in the literal sense of pure freedom. You know, not, not in a matter of fact, a, a specific way of view of things, but you can do anything else, but really in the sense of pure freedom. You know, you can go anywhere, you can listen to the different stories of different civilizations and people. You know, it's really pure freedom. It's not a specific freedom of a specific view of things. It's just freedom as a whole. And with this freedom, it also includes the things that may not be pleasant or may not be necessarily nice or something we'd like to we like to get into as much as a society. You know, like some of the darker themes, you know, the the cults, the satanics, you know, a lot of the darker themes, the, a lot of the darker stuff, you know, God may not like it or the universe may not like it. You know, it may be full of bad energy, but if it's free will, then it's free will. You know, God may not like it necessarily that we, that some of us may choose to go on some of the darker themes, you know, of cults or whatever, you know, of religious sacrifice and everything. But if it's free will, it's free will. Because if God were to put a stop to that, you know, if he were to put a stop to us going to heaven or us doing, you know, bad things, then that's not pure freedom. You see what I mean? The God of the universe may not like some of the actions we may take, just like how as some of us parents, we may not like that our kids may do some bad deeds or bad things. But if we give them pure freedom like that, then that's really pure freedom, even if we may not necessarily like or agree with it. This implies to the exact same way I feel when it comes to God or the universe. You know, God may not like it, but it's that's freedom as a whole as there. And it may not be nice, but that's what you get with freedom. Because if God were to put a stop to that, then I feel that that's not really freedom because you can't be free to make that choice. Sure, you can make freedom of choice by any other things, but if it was only good, then... If it was just only good, then I feel like it wouldn't necessarily work out in the same way because it's not pure, pure freedom. And freedom as a whole comes from a choice of even being free in the first place, you know. Do you want to be free? You know, do you want to be enslaved? And I feel like that's, it's my idea of freedom is that it's not in terms of being free, free. It's a matter of making that choice to be free in the first place because now you have the freedom to choose freedom as a whole in the first place. And when you choose freedom, Wherever you want, you know, if you if you have the freedom of choice to choose wherever you want to be free or not, then you can, you know, go from there with freedom and you can do whatever you want. And I feel like, and if God or the universe made it the same, you know, if he or she makes it the same way by giving us free will, wherever we want to go to heaven or hell or whatever or whatnot, then surely it can be the same thing with us as human beings. And in fact, when you force people onto your ideology or religion like that, that isn't free will as a whole anyway, because you're really forcing them to believe a specific way, a specific ideology of God, you know. And, and in fact, now that I think about it, this seems more... 
dark and satanic to me as a whole because if you didn't, you know, because if you needed a specific way, if you need to believe a specific view of God to, you know, go to heaven, then, you know, how would, how would other people are supposed to know? And in fact, that seems kind of wrong to me because it seems to me like if you need a specific view of things, then, then does the other goods not matter specifically? You know, you can't just smile, like I said before, you can't just smile and be happy even if you make other people's day, you know, just by being nice and kind to them, you know, like what my brother, my oldest brother does, what I uh, explained to you guys earlier before in this video. But, like, if you can't just be specifically good and whatnot, but you need a specific religion, you know, a specific ideology of things, you know, like like a door, you need a specific door. You can't just choose any of these doors that seem good and that are also white and the wrong way and that are also good, but you need a specific door, you need a specific car, you need like a specific, you know, you need to do it by boat, you need specific transportation to get to the Heaven Island, then that just seems more darker to me as a whole anyway than the whole dark thing as a whole because it's a specific, it's like a specific ideology of things, you know, right? There's a specific reason as to why we believe why people may go to hell. Or when people go to hell, right? It's because of they have may have too much sin, or that they've been doing bad, or whatnot, and that they're just cold-hearted, either to themselves or to the world. And how, you know, when you make those decisions, those actions, you know, you burn in hell. And I feel like when you have a specific religion, you know, a specific light bulb per se, you can't just have there's like different forms of light, right? You have the, I really have my lamp right here lighting up. But I have like my fan, um, I have like my fan light up there, up in my room. You have your headlights in a car. You have your, um, I'm just my camera here. But it's like you have your, um, you know, you have the lamp, you have the lantern. You have lights around your house. You have lights on your car. You have lights on your computer, you have light up keyboards, you have light on your game controller, you know, there's a million different lights that I can go over, lights on my speakers, you know, um, lights on an art project or whatnot, you know, lights on the sun, you know, whatever it may be, there's all kinds of different lights. And it's like saying, no, no, you need a specific light, don't let all these other lights distract you. You know, and let's just say you need the sunlight specifically, you know, not that may be the best category or definition of what I'm getting at, but that's my idea is that it's like they say you need a specific light when in actual reality, what you really need is just whatever choice you personally feel. If you personally feel that the sun helps you the most to get the best light, then that's, you know, good for you. If you feel that the um, lan a lantern is good for you with a specific light, you know, then good for you. If you need a lamp or whatever, or lights around the house to get you feeling good, you know, then good for you. But don't force others onto, you know, your beliefs that you need a specific way or a specific light or a specific transportation to get to God or the universe because the way I see it is that it's not in a matter of what you see it's in a matter of what actions you take you can be the most scientific person all you want and as long as you're doing good and you're doing happy and you're helping others and you're staying positive as a whole through energy through your attitude through your mood through whatever then good things will come around to you. You know, it's that karma thing, that karma thing all over again. You know, if you do good, things will come good to you. If you do bad, bad things will come to you. I know I'm rambling a lot in this video, 
and this video is probably a lot longer than it may need to be but it's just, just specifically my idea of when it comes to religion and my uh, criticism to my criticism yeah my criticism to it and like I'm stating before many times that I'm not bashing anyone who's religious. I'm not bashing, I'm not calling out anyone that's religious. If you see God in a specific way and you like to be in a specific view with a specific religion, then that's fine, you know, by me, by all means. You know, that's perfectly fine. It's not a matter of what you, it's not a matter of where you are or what you do. It's all what it is on what you do, but it's in the matter of what actions you take, more importantly. It's all in the matter of what choices you make for the world, for your friends, and for yourself. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I know I rambled a lot, like I said, but this is my personal point of view of how I see on religion. And um, this is um, pretty much my voice because it's my uh, channel, so I'm... Anyway, I know this video has been long, and I thank each of you for listening and tuning in. And I'll be sure to see you folks sooner or later. Anyway, thank you, thank you folks for watching, and I'll see you folks sooner or later. Bye-bye, everyone.